So let's say I'm working in Adobe Premiere and I'm looking at my clip and I'm realizing, you know, when I did this clip on my iPhone that I have this information on the left hand side that I want to crop out. How do I go about doing that? Again, very easy to do. Now I want to go to my effects window. And if you don't see your effects window, just go to window effects, make sure that it's turned on. Now what I want to do from here, let me come on in and I could just write in the word crop. And I can see that I can come to transform and I have the ability to crop. Now what I want to do is I want to take this word crop and I'm going to drag and I'm going to drop it on to the clip, onto the video clip and I can see I have the plus sign. So I've added that in. And now when I come on up to my effects control, I can see that I have the option to crop. And I'm going to crop some of this information on the left. So I'm going to come on in and I'm going to click right in here. And let's see what happens. So I have the little scrubber. I'm going to move this on over. Okay, forgive me. I want to go to the right side, left and right. Okay. I'm just going to get it out a little bit. Don't need it out all the way. Now I can pull this on over and move it on through. All right, so now the one thing is that I need to keep everything proportion in order for it to render without this black area. So I can make this a little bit bigger. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come on up to motion and I'm going to click on to scale and I can make it a little bit bigger. Let's see here. I'm going to go on up to 150. Okay. Now I can also take this and I can start to move it on over or I could look and see and I can see okay this fills up the screen but I want to go even a little bit smaller because now I feel like the hands are falling off of the stage so I'm going to come on in I'm going to try it go on down to 125 let's see what that looks like now I can see that I still do have a little bit of this black area so if I click on even to position I can move it on over a little bit and there we have it. I'm going to take this move over and I can see that I have the hands and they're perfect. They're where I want them to be. Now I also might want to reshoot the video clip and that's something we see as we start to work that we might want to come in and reshoot the video clip. So again, what I did was I went into effects, I searched for crop, I pulled crop out on to the timeline onto the video clip and then I got these different options in the effects control where I was able to come in work with the scale of the image well I first came and cropped the one side and then I was able to work with the scaling of the image and with the position um, so it would render. Now if I didn't do that it would just have rendered with a little bit of that black area so thanks so much for listening and a little bit more about Adobe Premiere Pro.